How could one possibly go wrong with a daily routine? Many ways, actually. While getting in the shower is probably one of the most routine things we all do as humans, there are several things we do wrongly about this simple routine. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in today's video, we dive into your personal hygiene routine. 15 Shower Habits That You Should Stop Now Don't worry, singing isn't one of these habits. We have plenty to share. Plus, stay tuned for our bonus tip and one amazing fact about showers I'm sure you never knew. So let's get into it. 15. Leaving Soap Residues on Our Body This is probably more common in kids than young adults, but we all can make the mistake of not rinsing our bodies thoroughly. Leaving soap lather on your body can cause skin irritation, so do well to check the back of your ears, the inside of your ear, and your armpit where soap residue may need proper rinsing. Number 14. Scented Soaps & Company Using scented soaps may seem like a good idea on the surface. They give your bathroom a good smell and some goosebumps shower. But not all that glitters is gold. One of the several downsides to a scented soap is skin irritation, which you may have noticed after you take a shower. And sometimes your scent fragrance and your perfume scent can create some acrimonious combo of a smell. How about antibacterial soaps that kill off all bacteria on your skin, including the good ones, giving room for harmful bacteria to thrive? Except when recommended by a medical professional, avoid antiseptic soaps, as your immune system is more than likely capable of handling all the bacterial fuzz. Number 13. Skipping Post-Workout Wash Just because you don't smell after working out doesn't mean you don't need a shower. Using a hand cloth or a towel to wipe the sweat off your body would not replace the need for a shower. Leaving sweat on your body can trap bacteria on your skin, significantly increasing your chance of developing acne and can lead to unhealthy complications. Having a cold shower after working out has been scientifically proven to help with muscle soreness, particularly delayed onset muscle soreness, DOMS, and of course, body odor. Number 12 towel scrubs. For many of us, our towel means different things. For some, it's our go-to brush hour cloth. For others, it's your work time pre-bath or post-bath robe. Whatever your towel means to you, it should not be used for all purposes. Rubbing your towel on your body is just as bad as wrapping your towel around your hair. A do-rag or a turban might serve such purposes more ideally and protect your hair from damage. Dermatologists particularly recommended the pat-dry technique, which involves gently patting your skin with a towel rather than scrubbing until you get dry. Number 11. Hair Wash? Give it a break. For many, our hair and genitals represent the neatest area of our outer body. The latter is pretty cool with an everyday wash, but the former is certainly not. Remember that scene in The Black Panther, where the Black Panther was stripped of his powers? Likewise, your hair is blessed with some pretty cool natural oils that you strip off with an everyday shampoo wash. Daily hair wash makes your scalp produce less oil. However, if you have a super oily scalp, you should only wash your hair every two to three days, which keeps it as healthy and fresh as possible. Number 10. Using soap dishes. Soap dishes are nice for travels, camping and short trips but using them for permanent use is not exactly a good idea. Why? Leaving your bar soap in one spot creates a suitable environment for bacteria to grow. Because the bathroom is usually warm and moist, you provide a suitable environment for them to colonize. Then on your next bath, you simply spread this bacteria on your body. Ooh. If you must use soap dishes, wire soap dishes are cool, as they allow water to drain out after each bath. Liquid soaps may be a great alternative also. Number 9. Delayed Moisturizing Hopping out of the bathroom right away to your favorite meal, TV series, or games may sound pretty cool, but sparing just a minute is even cooler. Just like you don't want your food, TV series, or game delayed, you're not doing any good when you delay or deprive your skin of the proper care it needs. Spare a minute to apply moisturizer immediately after you shower. Moisturizers, creams, and lotions all work to trap moisture on your skin. Using them right after a shower ensures optimum trapping of moisture on your skin and replenishes any moisture lost from lengthy or hot showers. 
Number 8. Poor Razor Care Razors are more important than we think, and it's a part of our showers. Unfortunately, many folks treat their razors like toothbrushes, replacing them after a few months. But unfortunately, that's not a good thing. Razors are an essential part of our shower routine, and their effectiveness is tied to their short lifespans. However, just because a razor is shaving off those hair doesn't mean you're putting it to a healthy use. Old blades on your razor could give your skin some inflammation after each shave, so ideally, you should replace your blades after about five shaves. Leaving your razor sitting in your warm and moist bathroom for weeks simply gives homeless bacteria a safe housing plan in your bathroom estate. Number 7. Grab Bars This might come as a surprise to some on this list, but did you know that in the US, over 200,000 bathroom falls were reported by the CDC in one year alone, with head injuries being the most common injury? According to the UK's National Accident Helpline, one in every four home accidents was a bathroom fall. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of, well, no more falls. So you just might consider a grab bar and some non-slip friction mat while getting in and out of the shower. They can both help prevent a fall. Number 6. Reusing Dirty Towels As a kid, I always wondered why towels needed to be washed. After all, we use them on our freshly cleaned bodies, making this bad shower habit seem almost logical. After every wash, dead skin cells are mopped off onto our towels, which are a good harbor for bacteria to grow. How about jock itch? Ideally, you should air dry your towel daily and wash it every few days to avoid skin infections and foul odors. So now you know to wash or change your towel once or twice weekly. Okay, just before our top 5, here's an amazing fact about showers. In 1973, Skylab Space Station was launched by the US, where the first ever space shower was recorded. Using a spray hose to release 2.8 liters of water per use, and collecting it in a vacuum, astronauts could take the first set of showers outside our planet. Now to our top 5. Number 5. Exfoliation In today's beauty world, one of the booming trends is exfoliation. There is so much misinformation out there on the net. Here's a fact you need to know. Skin exfoliation is regulated by our body, and this cycle happens every 25 to 28 days, as with the menstrual cycle. The inner cells of the skin in the deeper layer move up to the superficial layers, while the superficial skin cells are exfoliated. With this natural and effective system already in place, scrubbing your skin daily can do more harm than good, as you are going after the newer cells on the skin surface. This may lead to skin rashes or inflammation. Have some chill. Allow the new cells to stay for a few days for a fresher and healthier skin for every scrub time. Number 4. Not washing your feet Our hands and feet are some of the most germ-laden parts of our body. It's safe to say that many have a good habit of washing their hands regularly. But how about the feet? Just because you wash from top to bottom doesn't mean your feet become automatically clean. It doesn't really matter if you wear socks or some footwear around the house. The feet will always need some cleaning. So the next time you shower, remember that you need to wash your feet properly to maintain all-around body hygiene. Get in between those toady toes. There's a nasty fungus that causes athlete's foot. He's such a fun guy, but not that much of a fun guy. But one way you can prevent this fungal skin infection is by washing in between your toes properly. Number 3. The Hot Water Preference did you know that between January and March 2015, medical researchers conducted research on thousands of workers in the Netherlands and found that workers who had cold showers were three times less likely to report being sick in their workplace? Another study published in the European Journal of Applied Physiology showed that cold water immersion baths lowered rectal temperature and increased metabolism by 350%. How about mental alertness? The medical and physiological benefits are simply endless. A publication in the North American Journal of Medical Science showed that showering with cold water relieves pains, inflammations, muscle soreness, and swelling, and improves circulations across the body. So hey, cold water is actually great for a post-workout shower. 
Researchers also discovered that having regular cold showers could boost your immune system and help you shed some extra weight. So have you noticed any added advantage a cold shower gives you personally? Let us know in the comments. Number 2. Not replacing your shower sponge or loofah Ok, here comes the multi-million loofah question. When was the last time you replaced your bath scrub or sponge? I had a friend back in college who used the same loofah throughout our sophomore year. As we said earlier in this video, bathrooms are warm and moist, making your sponge a very cool hangout spot for germs. A good shower habit would be to replace your sponge after a couple weeks and to air dry it after each shower to ensure it stays neat, dry, and germ-free. Number 1. Washing your face Oopsie, spoiler alert! This is probably the most common and easiest shower mistake we make. It's super easy to wash your face, but it doesn't make it super right. It is pretty much convenient to wash your face when you're in the shower, but in this case, easier is not better. It would help if you considered limiting the scrub and lather to your groin area, which is super important, and other areas like your hands, feet, armpits, and neck. Washing your face in the sink with cold water is more ideal and could reduce the possibility of irritation, acne, or rosacea. So there you have it! So what changes would you make to your shower environment and routine? Please let us know in the comments below! If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel! Pardon the pun! Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video!